Torque is what gets the cap off your beer. Torque gets the cap off your beer. Told you it was bent. I've been working on the railroad. Oh. That's about it, too. <laughs> so it oh, sounds like... the living long day. <laughs> That's so stupid right now. Dude, I'm gonna put that at the beginning. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today on the episode of Neo Mustang's Adventures, we're gonna be talking about switching my axle studs, and we're gonna be talking about my control arm bolts. If you've been following on my other uh, videos and you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. But we ended up, this is a factory control arm bolt. The white car runs spherical ends, adjustable upper lower control arms. And we've been cutting some really, really crazy 60 foots in this car. So even in like the 120 area with one, you know, the 60 foot. And for some of you guys may not relate to that. Well, what does that even mean, Dan? Well, 60 foot is basically a measure of how fast your car goes from zero to 60 foot. That usually is a good determining factor on how fast and how strong your car leaves the line. Now there is a number of things that make that thing happen. You can't just go out and expect to cut a 120s 60 foot or even a one teens or 130s or 140s. So yeah, well, we're gonna start this video with talking about 60 foot. Now, whether you wanna relate it to your street car or not, this is still a measurement and a tool for how quick and how fast your car accelerates. So 60 foot, like cousin Paul and myself, we're always at the track. You guys see the track videos. Literally, our cars are street cars. Dad's cars are street cars, stock bottom end. That, that cousin Paul has taken over the reins with nitrous. We were on a nitrous kick right now. And you know I, I drive the white car, which has a 408 stroker, small turbo, stick shift magnum. And we're about to revitalize the black car, which you've seen in my last video. And we're gonna be testing the TKX and we're gonna be testing the Vengeance clutch after that, etc. So stay tuned. Torque is literally a huge determining factor in how hard the car leaves, how fast the car goes. It's one of the two measurements, which horsepower is the other, that kind of determines how, you know, how your car reacts. Your car's control arms play, a, you know, the axles, there's a lot of variables involved with making a car 60 foot really well. And like I said, some of you guys with stock cars don't really relate to that. And that's okay because if you were to put slicks on your stock Mustang or even a street drag radial, go out to the track, determine on how much horsepower you make determines on pretty much like a 60 foot. Here's some, here's some good numbers for you real quick. A car that makes 250 to 300 horsepower probably the best 60 foot it would ever see with a good tire is like a 180 or like a 175. And we use that measurement for 60 foot by how fast we go down the track. So like I, I cut a 129 60 foot and ran a, a 940 at 149 in this car. Whereas cousin Paul last week ran a 11, what would you run, a, a 1172? Yeah. But he had like a one, what was it, 154 60? Yeah. Now see, we know that car, cause it makes 330 wheel, horsepower but it makes like 480 torque we know that car in the suspension that it's with can cut a 145 absolute best 60 foot so you see what i'm talking about a lot of your 60 foot depends on how you stick the car how how good the suspension's working on the car and how much power it makes but now that i've kind of you know and when you relate to a stock mustang <laughs> or when you relate to a mild built mustang or even a heavy built mustang 60 foot is usually a determining factor in how well everything's working together. So there you have it. 60 foot really is just another tool for measurement, just like the dyno is. You can make a thousand wheel horsepower, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna 60 foot the crap out of that car. That doesn't mean you're gonna run really fast. You gotta make all the other little variables work with it. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a never ending cycle of car parts. Like a big Ferris wheel. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is i'm going to get cousin paul and i are going to take these wheels off real quick and i am going to shoot um some of these arp three inch axle studs and i should go with a five ace but that's going to require me taking the axles out and having them drilled we're also going to be replacing the control arm bores. So these are 10 9 
M12 120 millimeter long bolts. I'm just hoping that there's enough thread. Here's a factory 110. The phosphate here is just gonna be a heavier bolt for my control arms. And it's gonna be a nice safety thing for my car. Because I mean, I'm just, uh, if you watched my other videos, you know that I've been bending these, like literally bent a couple of them. So we gotta get these replaced. All right, so you can see that these, you know, have been seen better days and I've already bent these back into place or whatever after the first time they were bent, but that doesn't make me feel very good. So we're gonna go ahead and knock all these back out and then we're gonna put the ARP ones in. <clears throat> Technically, I need to be rolling with a five ace. And this is what a five ace stud kit is. You know, it's a lot bigger. This is half inch, right hand ha uh, half inch. And this is the right hand 5 8 and you can see I got to screw it in to the, but you have to have these axles drilled for this. So these are the spacers that go in the middle of the wheels. You don't, you won't bend these, but I mean, it's kind of surprising that I actually bend these two. What we're going to do, like we did last time, is we're going to put a bunch of washers on here and we're going to put this nut backwards and we're going to draw them up and put a little Loctite on the other side. Because the knurls on the ARPs are the same here and the Mosier axles, so. So these are the Morosos, and they they worked for all good intentions purposes, but ARP ones are a lot stronger. Go through all this and, and, and pound all these out, and we're just going to drill them in. Put some lube tight on it. I'm going to show you guys this once, and then we're going to go back to our time lapse. Uh, a dab -a do ya. So basically what this is doing is we're drawing it up right here on the neural. It will seat right in the back of the axle. We'll be all set. So I'm gonna do this for this side and then I'll do it for the other side and then we'll keep skipping on down the road with the, you know, we're gonna move over into the control arm bolts where we are going to be putting different control arm bolts in because they're bent. But this is basically something that happens to cars that have a lot of torque is these, I have bent these before and when I put the ARP ones on it, it seems to kind of alleviate it. But what I really need to do is pull these axles out and send them over to the machine shop and have them drilled for 5 8 studs. All right, so there you have it. You can see how straight those actually are now. And these are the ARP ones, so these should not bend. We're gonna continue working on, we're gonna get the control arms out. Uh, that's our next hit. I'm gonna do the same thing the other side. Spare you guys the details and let's go. All right, so we got both sets already done, nice and straight. This one was like one of the worst parts. So these all look good. We're gonna go ahead and bring this car up. No, it looks straight. I think these ones up here were starting to bend. We're gonna go ahead and take this one out because I'm all I, I can almost tell this is bent. We did take the other one out and it looked pretty straight and clean, but these aren't very good grade bolts, so I'm kind of doing myself a favor here. What are you doing? I'm looking at it. Stop looking at it. It doesn't like you. I know it don't. All right, you ready? You got that up right yeah. there? Yep. Fall right behind. There you go. <laughs> Fail. Go ahead, bring it up. It's Paul's fault. Keep. Okay. Boop, boop. Hmm. hmm? Is it bent? All right, YouTube, that's about all I have for you today. We've got everything back together, everything's tight. We ended up uh, just taking one of the control arm bolts and kind of feeding it into the, where the, the old control arm bolt is and just taps it right out, which is perfect. So we ended up uh, you know, cleaning up some of the area under there, checking everything else out, checking the torque on everything. And I think I'm pretty safe right now. But uh, we are about to hit the track because it is a Wednesday and uh, I'm gonna cut this video off. Guys, if you enjoy my channel, Check out that join button below for the membership. It gives back to the channel. All the money that we get from the channel stays with the channel, stays with the cars, stays with the giveaways, it stays with you guys. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe on the way out. I just appreciate your watch time. So I hope this video helps somebody. 
Sneak peek, if you waited this long, you guys need to stay tuned because this thing's going in that very, very soon. So got an unboxing to do. Make sure you check out my videos coming up. You definitely, definitely gonna wanna stick around. Sub, enjoy the channel. See you soon. Dude, don't even get me started. What are you doing? I'm looking at it. Stop looking at it, it's unlike you. We're not gonna take it anymore.